Yeah, I think to explain it, we need to break it down to the two words. So why is it called the super part and why is it called the pink part? Yeah. And so they're, cause they're completely different categories. The super part is because the moon, which is gonna be a full moon, which is the first thing everybody needs to realize, full moon tomorrow. Um, and in this full moon, it is gonna be particularly close to the earth. So there was this astrologer, not an astronomer. He liked the idea that if a, moon, if a full moon occurred when it was 90% of its closest distance to earth given orbit, the definition for that would be a super. And so astronomers would call moon that was particularly close and full, um, a perigee syzygy moon. The, so instead of calling it perigee syzygy, the preference was uh, super sounds a lot better. So it's just a particularly close full moon. And then the pink part, which is a very nice one, is the name uh, given in the old farmer's almanac. It's actually got a couple of different names that you could have for the April full moon. But because you get a lot of flowering, a lot of pink flowering, a specific moth, beautiful pink and that was pretty prevalent in the northern hemisphere which is where um, Native American uh, tribes which had a lot of folklore had a lot of lore about the the moon were uh, they gave it a lovely name of pink moon it is for us the first full moon of the spring so it does coincide very nicely with what's happening outside so a super part because it's a particularly close full moon and the pink because of the old farmer's almanac and how this actually corresponds to what's happening outside.